Hey guys, I'm Faith. Welcome back to my channel. Ignore my messy hair. It's fine. So I'm getting a puppy in two days. I'm so, 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 so excited. And I'm going to show you some stuff I have for him. Yeah, you'll see different clips, obviously, because like downstairs, upstairs, you know, you'll see different clips, but let's just get started. This is the first thing we're going to look at. It says Harlow's Toys. And we did that, me and my mom did that with my mom's cricket. In here we have Harlow's toys. But we also have like these dental shoe things. Um, subscribe to Service Husky Ellie. I'll have her link in the description. And go follow her on Instagram at Service Husky Ellie. There's a Kong. It's in there somewhere. Um, because I was going to take it downstairs, and then I was like, wait, he doesn't need that big of a one for when he's little. And those are probably going to go to my other dogs, but it came with two treats. And I got it for, like, literally a dollar at Pet Smart. Because, well, we had, like, two dollars worth of points, so technically it was, like, three dollars for stuff. This is the Kong it came with, but it's huge for now. Um, I got this donut toy from Target. And it's like, there's a rope in it to make it, it's really sturdy, it's nice. Recommend. It was $9, or $8. I got this from Target. It is $1.99, and it's just a squeaker bone, so yeah. I got this from PetSmart. It had two tennis balls in it. They look like this. And I got this with another toy for, I took these out so he would have, like, small tennis balls. Because I forgot to buy those before quarantine. Um, and by the time I ordered them off of Amazon with the rate, everything's coming. They won't be here, right? They'll be too small. He'll be able to swallow them, honestly. I also got this toy. Um, he won't have this. He won't have all of these right away. Um, but that, like, flashes different colors. And I need to take it out because it's just not a good... Like, I, I don't like that. I got this turtle from PetSmart. I think he was $3, but he might have been like the two for six because I know our dog Ziba has one similar. It's just a different animal. Server Tusky Ellie also got me this for our Christmas gift exchange. It's a little fox, has crinkles, and it has squeakers. All right, she got me this, <laughs> and it is a little hedgehog, and I believe all the stuff she got me is from Walmart, but... You can probably find some of the other stuff. Other places. There goes the Kong. And then I have this treat thing. He won't be using this for a few weeks. But you put treats in it. And it's a puzzle. So it's really cool. But yeah. He won't get all of this at one time. Because. That is not how. I roll. <laughs> Failed. Mom surprised me with this bucket because I wanted a red one, but like a red one like this, but they didn't have any at Target or at Hobby Lobby then, but now they do. Ignore my leggings. I need to like fix them because I like crashed my bicycle yesterday and ripped a hole, so I'm going to make them capris. Okay. <laughs> but she got this from Hobby Lobby and they didn't have it when I was looking, but she found it, so... So, one of the next things I have is this little sign, and it says Harlow's Corner. That is his YouTube channel name, so make sure y'all go check that out. I will be posting this on his channel and on my channel, most likely. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And it's broken because um, my cat knocked it off of my shelf, and then I, I stepped on it. So, you know, it's fine. And I don't have an L, so I used an I. Yeah, it's fine. It's really bad to give dogs baths too much, especially with golden retrievers, just the way their fur is. So these deodorizing bath wipes are perfect for when he has accidents, when he's learning to be potty trained, when he's being potty trained, yeah. So yeah. I have this, um, another basket. Oh my gosh, my brain's not working. I'm so sorry. I have a lot of stuff in it. I have some booties. I have grooming scissors. I had to unpackage this one because I needed to use it on my other dog. 
because she stepped in duct tape and it would hurt if we ripped it off and her fur was a little long anyways so on her paw but only on her paw okay so i have this and i it was used to be mine but it obviously doesn't fit me anymore so yeah we're gonna recreate a picture that i'll show you in it really soon So yeah, we're going to recreate that picture because that was my other dog, Ziva, who's huge now. I got this from some shop on Instagram. I ordered one size and they gave me the other size. So this was supposed to be my dog, Kita's, but it would not, it will not fit her. It is like literally an inch too short, but... I make dog bandanas. I could fix it if I want to, but it's really, it's okay quality. I mean, it's like, my stitching is invisible. Like, you don't see it. And like, that is why you don't see it because that hop it happens so often. And it's not their fault, it's not my fault. And we have Cricut, but yeah, you know. All right, I have this little training vest. No idea if I'm gonna use it, but it's really, really cute. Um, I'm making him another one, so, yeah. Alright, so I have this training vest. It's super, super cute. It is so little. I probably won't even put patches on there, though I do have spots for them. Because, yeah. But I made this. It's like the corner's not the greatest, but that's because I cut it wrong, and then I did that. But I was still learning. And the next one I made is a lot better. My numbers and letters for that and there's also like emojis in there i think so which are super super cute and a kong zoom groom scrubber brush scrubber brush can't talk and it's super cute and there's fur in it because i tested it out and it works wonders so yeah i need to wash up but yeah body pads these work in our favor because we are always have our eye on our dog, um, whether it's through camera or we're there. But, so he's not going to eat them up. Yeah. Because some people don't like to use these because they can eat it and their dog can like ingest like this blue part or the, even the white part in there. And that is really bad for dogs. But, if it works for your dog, it works for your dog. It might not work for someone else's. Yeah this back thing i have is this it is a puppy place book i have like a tradition for our old dog i say old dog our old puppy i guess so we still have her but she's a dog now yeah you know so i used to read her a book and i just found out i still have my puppy place books from when i was little and my mom read them to me and i read them sometimes so i think it still has like the point system in it yeah it is a 3.5 points for whatever point system we used at my elementary school but yeah it's goldie he's a golden retriever so it's gonna be super super cute and yeah i haven't read these in years but i typically read like a chapter or something I remember when I used to think these books were so huge. It's literally chapter one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. More like eight, or more like um, nine pages. So yeah, the logo because you know it has coins in it, and then you can do no. You know, it scares them, but not like too bad. You know what I mean? Have gold Target brand disinfectant wipes. What did I do? Oh gosh. Ah. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Next, I have Harlow's Tritos, and um, it has small milk bones in it. He won't be having those for a little bit, and if he does, those will be more of a after bath type thing, like after. After he gets um, a bath, he would get a treat that's bigger, but not 
too bad. This is his lamb chop. I've been cuddling with it, so it'll definitely have my scent on it. But I, I don't, I don't know. So don't ask. It's just really soft. It's a nice stuffed animal. My mom got me this for Christmas. So I could have a golden retriever until I got my actual golden retriever. And I named her Lily. I'm obsessed with stuffed animals. I mean, look at my bed. Dash gonna have to go for a little bit though. Yeah, it's okay. So I know that corner over there was a mess in that video, but it is all cleaned up and it's safe for my puppy now. It's my favorite. It is the kennel my dad built and I helped build. It has a slide. We still have to fix that, but he won't be in here for the first night because it's so huge. And the crate divider didn't work for here without the tray, but then it could potentially mess up the wood. I don't think it will, but it could have. So, yeah, and then we put a little thing over there so that it can slide out. So if he has an accident, it's gonna be easier to clean as long as it's not running. Still be easier, but yeah. Um, and it opens and closes rather than slides like our other dogs one. Super, super pretty. I chose that the color and then he did that and I painted most of it. So if it's a really crappy painting job, that's why. Like here, actually, I don't know if I did this. Yeah, I did, I did. I definitely did those. Wait, no, I don't think I did. I don't know. I feel like I probably did that. All of the spots where the screws are, I definitely did that though. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I didn't expect it to be this long, so I'm super sorry, but this is part one and stay tuned for part two on this channel and on Harlow's Corner. Wait, this could be Harlow's Corner. Yeah. But go subscribe to Harlow's Corner or this channel, whichever, I don't even know. Just, just, just subscribe.